Good morning, this is Will from Cigar Coop um, coming at you from the 2012 IPCPR trade show. And I'm here today with Sean Williams of Premier Mundo Cigars. And Sean is one of the rising uh, stars, I think, in the cigar industry. And I'm um, very glad to have some time to talk to him. So thank you, Sean. Thanks for talking. Sean, uh, tell me a little about your background, how you got into the cigar industry. Uh, I, I'll give you the Cliff Notes version. I'm sure a few people have read about it. Uh, it's not you know, anything that, that's overly exciting like the rest. You know, I smoked my first cigar on the cruise ship uh, a few years back. And uh, just, uh, you know, it's, it's like a of dope or something. I just was, was instantly up there. Uh, got back to Atlanta and started a uh, cigar social group, so to speak, uh, by the Atlanta Cigar Society. We do different events around the city. And doing that, I got the information to get cigar like really for the, uh, my events in the local scene. One thing led to another. And, uh, six and a half years later, I'm starting to talk to cigar groups. So, Excellent. Uh, Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Tell me a little about Primo Mundo and what you bring to the table as a cigar company. Well, um, what I'd like to think I bring to the table is, um, you know, really, you know, special stuff in the way of uh, being a tribute to. Um, you know, there's nothing that I do that, that, that's, that's um, you know, mass manufactured from, from a volume standpoint. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with some of my stuff as well as the League of Miami, Apple Binder, and now recently the Placer Reserve, which is a, a really good product. Those three lines I do, uh, in Little Van in Miami, uh, very, very classic construction, the cigars we rolled into bottles, double binders, uh, triple cap. Uh, I like to mix different countries' uh, 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 products. So, Ecuador, Iraq, really, Nicaragua, Dominican Brand, or uh, a couple of lines out of Miami. The four stuff I've been doing for the years with Placentia. Uh, yeah, three country brands there with the, uh, the blue label and the red label. Uh, both have uh, Nicaragua and Hunter and Brooklyn tobaccos, uh, the Nicaragua wrapper. So, I, I, I like to try to you know, make sure a cigar doesn't taste like anything else out there. Uh, I'm not. Delusional enough to think that everybody's gonna like my cigars. But if you like my cigars, um, you know, certainly there's something that's different about them. Uh, and there's certainly a lot of care that goes into them. Uh, most recently, I'm excited about uh, the product that we're launching here at the uh, convention called Byron Bar. It's a beautiful, beautiful Brazilian out of the wrapper, all Nicaraguan vibe and filler. It's a true, full body, well rounded, rich cigar. I'm doing that with the uh, A4 as of uh, uh, PBR cigars and other kind of things public reception has been to work uh, Yesterday was a great day. We expected another good day today. So um, as far as what I try to do, I try to just make sure that my cigars uh, stand out. That they're a little different from whatever's out there. I mean, and, 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 you know, I'm always concerned if somebody smokes on these cigars and asks me, oh, what, what does it taste like? And hopefully it tastes like nothing else out there. Um, but also, obviously, it's good. So that's what I try to do. And you've used some other factories besides the PDR, which is a great factory. You've used sell 200 runs. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. that, that's what I do. The uh, League of Miami, the Apple Five, and the Classic Reserve, which the Classic Reserve is, is the, the only uh, true limited product I've ever done. It's, uh, it's only 12 cigars per box, only 12 hundred boxes being made. So it's really something that, that, that's a limited uh, uh, deal. Maybe I'll do some variations maybe next year. But yeah, so I, I, I've done, uh, as I said, the uh, Apple Five, the League of Miami, and the Classic Reserve with uh, 200 rounds. And uh, there, you, know, you don't get into more. Miami and Tito Absolutely. Right at Cayo Jim Uh They've been making cigars there for years. Uh, classic human construction. Uh, six to eight rollers at any given time. So it's a true, true small batch operation. Uh, it's like family. I love working with Bob Sandy. Uh, Willie Herrera, one of my best friends on the planet. Uh, he and I started working together a few years ago. He's gone on to even better things like at Jewish States, of course. But the relationship with our Titan Bonds has not changed. I'm still doing some good stuff. Excellent. So, what are you seeing around the industry as a whole right now? What are some of the trends you're seeing right now? You know what? Uh, the industry as a whole, it doesn't matter whether it's the largest company out there or, or, or the medium-sized company or whatever. Everybody's trying to do something in the world boutique or small batch. And I don't think there's anything that's just germane to the cigar business. I mean, if you look at beers, I mean, craft brews and craft beers are popping up all over. Uh, as it relates to spirits, I mean, small batches are big thing. So there's a lot of, uh, of uh, care and attention that's going into making sure that people are putting out um, more sort of quality, specialized, you have boutique samples? things. Uh, uh, what's that again? Uh, boutique uh, 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 products to really uh, attract and uh, specialize uh, uh, more discerning power. So I think that's uh, that's something that's true in the cigar business as well. Well, Sean, I um, kind of say, you know, we're in a real creativity part of the cigar industry right now. It's great to hear a lot of the creative things you're doing with different tobaccos from a lot of countries. And, um, your brand's really exemplifying that well. So I thank the time. So. I, I thank so. you very much for the time this morning. Appreciate and uh, best of luck and hope you have a great show. Thanks, Dr. This Thanks. is Will signing off.